Hey everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Doo Sue. Hope everyone's doing okay. Um, managing to get some nice crafting done. I'm going to today make some pocket tags out of trash. As you can see, this is all packaging. That was packaging of beef lasagna, spaghetti carbonara. My husband and I, oh yeah, when I've tried to lose weight, slim fast. <laughs> yes and yogurts we sometimes do buy a couple of kind of um convenience meals for in the week mainly for the days i go into the office because i'm not always home um bef very early um supposed to finish at four but invariably i don't so it's just nice to have something quick to pop into the oven actually so i'm going to use this packaging and we're going to make the tags out of this so let's have a look and see what we've got. So I want to make them six inches by three inches. So that's not big enough. That's not big enough. Hmm, may have to change my size. But that I definitely will get a tag out of. That one. Uh, let's have a look. So we've changed our size, so that's five. So we do, we'll change them according to what we've got. So this one's big enough. So we do two six by three, and we'll do two five by three using that one and that one because I think they're both okay. So what I'll do first of all is just chop them down quickly. So. As I said to you the other day, I have quite a lot of packaging piled up on a shelf and also a whole um, one of those um, material boxes, you know, that go into the cubby holes, the, the squares. Uh, I've got, um, let's see, I've got one of those full of packaging as well. So I think that's enough really time being uh, because you know obviously I need room for other stuff <laughs> we're terrible hoarders aren't we crafters hoarders okay so I'm just cutting out the main elements from these pieces now some of these bits that I've cut off I may keep because they're kind of natural um little spines if you want to add something into your journal and stick it on to here so they, they're kind of natural ones so I may keep those think of something we can make with them uh, and this one I wasn't going to use this one because it's a slightly different colour card but it doesn't matter because it's Right, well that fell on the floor. There's no telling where these will get used. I'm trying to decide if I have to build my stash up a bit now because I haven't been doing that for such a long time. So let's have a look. So we want um, three inches wide. So it's got to go to there. So I'm going to... Cut that down and need to be six. Where's my ruler? Six inches long. Yeah, so I'm going to take off that top edge. Let's measure it again. And oh, just a tiny centimeter, really. So I mean, I don't have to be exact, I just decided. Those are the sides I want sizes I wanted. So that's that's still uh, bigger than three. Let me just mark that. So that I have got. I don't mind the height being different, but I kind of want the width to be three inches, really. Right, that's one. Okay, let's do six. There. Just check this end is straight. First. 
take this lid off and like so and then let's have a look at the width so if I cut it there I'm going to get rid of that crease that packaging crease Two. Room to do four. So five by three. So take it in the middle, I think, because it's a bit creased either side. So it's a lovely, beautiful, sunny day. That looks very narrow. I think I've gone a bit mad. That one's only two and a half, right, that was a mistake. How did I do that? Who knows? Let's cut this piece down, because I don't want them two. I want them at least three inches wide. Um. Okay, let's cut this down on the crease line. So that is just about five and I don't know how I managed to cut that one. I must have thought I was cutting on my mark and perhaps there was already a mark on there. So just trimming down the top a bit and the bottom, making sure those are straight. Okay. Okay, and then this was our other one. So again, it's five and we want three. So I take three from here, I think. Right. And again, I'm just trimming down the top and the bottom. Okay, so those are our bases done. Right, let's make them into tag shapes. So the side we're going to cover is the side that has all the writing on. Okay, so I've got my Old National Trust, no, English Heritage card it was. I think I'll make them into, where is it? Where's my scissors? I didn't get my scissors out yet. So any old card, find any old card and just cut each corner a different sort of slot. So I've got you know, that one, bigger one. Another small one and a long one there. So those big ones are going to be using this one, I think. And then all you have to do is hold it on there and cut. Don't do it awkwardly like me. Try and do things left-handed, Susan, because you know you can't manage it. So that's two. These are a bit shorter, so we'll go with, um, I think we'll go with the same one, actually. So what I'm trying to do is use up bits from my stash, you know, bits and pieces. So this packaging... And other things out of my stash that I'm going to use today. Right, let's get rid of those corners. Put that card away. Right. Okay, so we'll put them over the right side that we want to decorate. So first of all, I want to cover these with some paper. And again, I want to use up some of my stash, so I've got some six and a half inch sheet this is a kaiser pad 
um, it's called Miss Empire, Miss Empire, very, very pretty, and at the back you have all these extra pieces, toppers and things, which are really nice, actually, really nice. Okay, so, um, I want to cover them. Now, in my stash of my um, scraps of paper, I've got this, and this is a piece of scrapbook pad. I don't know whose it is now because obviously I've only got this strip. As you can see, it's something I was folding at some point. I don't know what I was doing with it. But I'm going to use these, this, because it's thick, as the pockets. Okay, so I want pocket, say, maybe I'm going to have a corner pocket with that. And then a pocket going across with that, which is why I wanted to keep to the three inches. Now you can see why. I've got two of those and these corner ones got four of those okay so what i want to do and this was a this can't be six and a half inches um this must be slightly smaller because look so i want to use some bits of these pads because i had them knocking around so i thought let's use these as a base so we'll make two with that that design the two small ones i think and then let's have a look in here and find, so I want it to match this, so oh, that's quite nice with the stamps on. That's actually quite nice, I like that too, let's see, that's quite a contrast isn't it? I suppose it depends really on what um, what you want to use them in and I wouldn't know that at this point um, because they are just for stash it's quite nice isn't it I love the way Kaiser Craft on their scrapbook pages they put a little bit at the top um, that matches other pages in the pad so for instance um, on the top of that one and it's not that one it's there's a strip there going down the top of this one here yeah, so that's nice okay let's see what we what we can do with those right I hardly ever use my scrap pads you know my scrapbook pads paper pads whatever you want to call them um, which is such a shame really so I don't know that I will get two out of this one let's have a look and see not quite so I'm going to just take my glue and I'm going to glue these onto the paper oh butter fingers I'm just going to Give it a bit of a spread round with my finger um, just so that we don't have any lumps and bumps in it and let's see I think that was the way up yep so let's that one as close to the edge as we can like so get that press down yeah so I'm, I'm using up scraps um, because even a piece like this I don't want to throw away because it might have been a one-off um, scrap paper or paper pad piece I sometimes buy single sheets single pages or whatever you like to call them um, but I don't want the whole lot you know right that's one uh, we want the other small one 
Yeah, so um, they're just ideal really for the odd thing. I, you know, I might go on the Fruit Pixie website or on their Etsy shop and uh, I might, they sell a lot of single sheets of different things, but they also do kind of a series of them. So they might be out of the um, scrapbook pad, but they um, it might not necessarily be the whole pad. Um, they just come in single sheets. And, you know, you can buy two or three um, that are, that will kind of go together, if you know what I mean. They match almost. Right, okay, this glue, sometimes it glues very quickly and sometimes not. Okay, so let's leave those two to dry for a minute and we'll repeat the process. I may need two pages because I won't get two. Oh, yes, I will. That's brilliant. So, just check. There's a little bit of script at the top of there, and that's up the right way. Yeah, the Fruit Picks is a good site to go on if you want odds and ends. Um... Some of the things are not always cheaper than what you might buy. So it's always a good idea, I think, to shop around, you know, um, if you can. Obviously, Amazon is probably the first place I look. And sometimes I'll look on eBay. And just have a look see um, I'll also go on the Facebook marketplace I've bought some nice crafting bits from there um, and then obviously there's the obvious places like Aliexpress shine um, and well a lot of people like BB's Bazaar I have not bought anything from them yet I could just chop around really. I'd got such a lot of stuff anyway, which probably most of us have, that I don't always want to buy loads of things, which is why I'm trying to use up my some of my stash. Right. So let's cut this one out. it's nice to build up your stash with different base pieces that are in different sort of colour themes you know quite a nice idea um because you just don't know what you're going to make there's one took Paddy out today and it's absolutely glorious weather yesterday was freezing I thought couldn't get warm all day um, two. so they're going to the scrap scrapbook these might go into the small scrap pieces I don't know because I've got so many of them to one side. Let's cut these out. Uh, they haven't. See, they do come up. I have to really make sure that they stick. It's tacky glue. It's the tacky glau. Oh. 
doesn't always want to stick straight away. You can just see some oozing out of there. So they will go down eventually. It doesn't help if you don't leave them to dry and then fiddle about with them like I'm doing now, but I want to just get them done. So you can always go around them with the fine tip when they've dried. See how they look. There's one. I like that colour. Sort of autumnal kind of colour, isn't it? So that kind of will probably denote where that goes and where it will be used eventually. Oh, we're stuck. That's the other reason not to do them when they're still tacky. It messes up your scissors. Okay. I'm keeping those mites. So here we have our four. Okay, let's pop a hole in them using this proper dial. I will measure my hole. And I've guessed it before and guessed it wrong and then regretted it. So once you've done the hole, that's there's no going back, as you know. So two, four, six, one inch and two, so that's half. And three. So it's going to be a half inch plus three. So it should be there. Okay, we'll use the bigger one. Now, I have to find my mark. That's one. This will probably be the same size, I'd say. I'll just do it a bit further down. That makes it easy. And then hopefully I can see my mark. Which is there. I mean, sometimes I mark them and I know they're exactly in the middle and they don't look like they are in the middle to me. So I don't want to go down that far, but at least that helps me get them right. And that can be rubbed off, you see. Okay. Won't put any eyelets in just for the moment because I don't like doing them on camera. <clears throat> they never work properly. Right, so let's just get the vintage photo and we link round these. dog's quiet. I always wonder what he's up to. It's like having a child. When he goes quiet, he's often up to mischief. Occasionally he takes it upon himself to go into the bedroom and he can flip. A, we have a small pedal bin in there and he can actually, he knows how to flip that up and then he will take out all the rubbish 
and it will be all over the place but it does it very quietly um so we'll oh no he's just uh proven that he's not up to mischief now he's decided to bark right okay so let's put these pockets on so this is what we're going to use okay so i am going to pop those to one side and i'm just going to cut i'm just going to cut where the folds are on these and i don't remember why i folded them um like i did but i did something must have been trying something out And then we'll have to I'm just thinking actually they would make a kind of a double pocket, wouldn't they? Let's have a go at that. Ah, so then we can use the whole piece up. Okay, let's have a look at that and see what we think. Well, I don't like that crease down there anyway. So we'll cut that down. Is there one on here? A little bit. So. Right, okay, let's see what we can do with these. And we've used that whole scrap then. Right, so we take the small ones. And I'm going to just put them like that on the corner, I think. And we'll have that one going that way. So we'll just ink round them. Simple but effective, I think. Okay, so we have to be careful how we glue them. I'm going to use the beacon three and one for this. So I only want a tiny bit along the edges, just a bead. It's not easy doing a bead with beacon. So I'm just going to line that up, top and the bottom. Gives you some wiggle room. Looks okay on the back. I need a new dobber. Dob ahead, don't sponge. Right there, it's a small one there. Okay, I mean, if we wanted to, we could make a double one there like that. Ooh, come up with these new ideas. See, um, if I do that, then I need to find something else to put on this one. Okay, let's do it. Let's have something different. I think when I was doing um, oh, a challenge a couple of years ago, 3 and 15, I think it was, and it was, um, hmm, oh, whose challenge was it now? Gosh, I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll, put, I'll try and link her series down below. So that's kind of a crossover. So it's actually, um, well, I won't touch it while it's drying because it will move. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so that's one. Just move that down a bit. Right, leave that to dry. Okay, so think about that one in a minute. Now, this one we were going to have two so we could either have it like that with the writing on which is quite nice still need to trim a tiny bit off of there as i can see a fold line and i'm not happy with that because it's not relevant to this piece so which way round? i like all that there the writing and everything so let's have a look. 
so it's going to be slightly too wide so let's mark it there and chop that choppity chop let's keep it linked round yeah my dog will look at it it's I'm just being lazy, really. Right, I'll just have a look now. Do I want that rounded? No, I don't think I do. Okay, so we can have a back pocket and a front tuck. So what we want to do is... Shall I put a little thumb hole in that? Oh, where's my hope this works because this can be play up to and again I'm just going to make measure that just that side the back side so that's three so that's easy one and a half and we're just going to put a small thumb hole in there thank you for hitting me in the face Daisy, I am so clumsy at the moment, I don't know why. Right, so we're gonna have that. Now, is this the one we measured up? Yes, so that gives me the place to hold it, so I can just put a thin bead down either side. Um, I'm back in my brains. Is it dawn? No, that's a book trader. Not book trader either, it's Dawn. Oh, that isn't the lady that did the 3 and 50, 15 challenge. It's terrible, isn't it, to forget everything? Oh, God. Can't blame work because I haven't been there today. I'm not working today, it's my day off, but then my brain goes to mush because it doesn't. It knows it doesn't need to think about anything. Okay, so we'll leave that one. So these are little thin pockets, I haven't put a gusset in them or anything. Now let's do this one next. So we could have that one. What does that look like if we had that like that? quite nice let's just fold that down frame folder let's get that fold down and that would be that side which is okay that's still not laying properly let's have a look that's better Okay, so I need to take, let's see if I can cut it, all the bits from my dog head sticking to the back of it. <sighs> right. measure it so it's one and a half inches is the middle there and we will put a small thumb hole in like so oh let me just rub that mark there Do that one. Um, now let's stick this down. It. Get that wipe. 
working such a cluttered mess, honestly. What do they say? Tidy desk, tidy mind. <laughs> Paddy, we don't want to hear you. Thank you. Probably can hear the postman round the back because I don't think he's been yet today. You can hear him coming round. We've got like a circular estate, little one, and we live on, and you can hear him round the back coming. So they beep, you know, they um, scan things now, and the scanner makes a particular beep, which he recognises. So I'll put that one to dry. Now, what can we put on this one? Let me have a look at my scrap thing and see have we got that's quite thick we can use another bit of scrapbook well, I don't like that that would be perfect but I don't like that against that so that would be quite nice I don't know how thick that is. Um, you only want a little scrap. I mean, I don't want to get a whole new page out. So the idea of this video is using up scrap items. Now, there's a piece there. Okay, so I think... I think, I think that's thick enough. This definitely is. And this has sort of got a lacy print on one side. And I think we're just going to go for... Um, the glue on my hands. Let me see how wide this is scrap. Five and ten sixteenths of an inch, so that would be two and a half and five, which would be there. But is that going to be wide enough to make? I could make two out of that. Let me see. I've got an idea for this one. Sometimes ideas come to you as you're working. Yeah, that's okay that could be okay like that right so i am going to put a little thumb hole in these i won't measure this one um actually i do need to straighten that edge because it's It isn't quite straight anyway, so it's just a slither, really. It's better, right? Okay, so um, let's just See if we can eyeball this one and manage to do it okay. Okay. And I can hear a courier now outside or the postman. If it's a postman, he's in a van for a change, hasn't locked the door. Couriers at the moment are not even bothering to knock, they're just more or less knocking and running, leaving your parcel, or whatever. What I thought was 
we could make a double pocket with this and have it kind of slightly off edge like that so that would be nice so what i want to do is only glue the two sides of the top one so that, that we can have a tall something to go in there and it can go all the way down so we need to glue that one on first really so it's around about i'm just going to mark that so i know where to glue it Just the two edges of this one and where's my mark mark is there and it's coming in a bit from the edge so it's another scrap we've used and then this one is three three sides line that up there like so make sure that's straight You know, I can't remember that lady's name. I, I follow her channel. Isn't that awful? I just can't. The, it's Dawn at the book, of the book Vandal on YouTube. It's not her challenge. It was one a couple of years ago, and it was I think it was called Three and Fifty One or and Fifteen, and it was all different pockets. And what she was making was a she called it a colossal tome, and what it was, it was um, a book full of all examples of these so she can remember how to make them again just like a reference book and um it was a really good challenge actually so kind of made a lot of pocket that hasn't glued down at all might have to clip it um Before we go any further, be careful of these clips because this has got teeth and it will mark. Um, okay, just put one here as well. Look at the marks, that on the back. Right, okay. So that's glued so basically if i use my letter opener we have pocket here and we have pocket side tuck there on those this one we have side tuck there well it's like a pocket and then you can use this one as a little extra side tuck here and then this one is just two pockets so because i didn't glue that down at the bottom here i can go all the way down with whatever i put in there and then that one is there like so okay i always like to do a little bit of stenciling on the back so i'm going to use my vintage photo this will be the journaling spot and all i'm doing is just a tiny bit here and there really random like that just i think it's just nice i think it's probably something something i've always done a bit of a trademark maybe i don't know <laughs> let's uh go down the side of that one like so, and this one, let's see 
it we can do and maybe go across the top so I don't put much distress ink on it the dog has still got a lot on it so there that's that bit done okay now let's think about decoration um obviously they're going to be put in a stash i don't want to over decorate them at the moment um in my stash i think these were sent to me in some happy mail or a swap i've got these which i thought were quite nice but it depends on whether they actually go I was going to plan on using them, to be honest. Maybe we'll have those two there. But won't use those. Those won't fit anyway. Um, so. Think about what I want to decorate them with. Let me see. Oh, I've got... My Tim Holtz ideology words, so I guess the black would probably go better with those. Um, hmm. Let's put a black one on these. I don't know, you know, I'm toying with what shall I do. Okay, let's think round these. This is the bit where I'm getting stuck. I don't want to over-decorate them anyway, as I say. You can add to them when you use them, uh, however you're going to use them. Or even if you're sending them out as happy mail, you can then add to them then if you want to. So that will go there. So um, let's have a look in this pad again and see. Is there anything else we can use to go behind? If we could use some of this to go behind these. Um... So let's put those to one side and let's see these two. Um, kind of tear a bit off. sure that one stands out let me find um one of the kaiser craft because that there's one in here i quite like Not this one just for a change and i think that will show up either that one or this one That's very dark, isn't it? What does that look like on here? Hmm. Uh, change my mind. <laughs> okay, let's 
let's have a look at this one instead. Put those away. Okay, so. Move those and take that off. I'm going to use my roughing up tool just to rough them up a bit. You can also do this with a pair of scissors, just as effective. Okay, I'm going to have those as a background up here. Okay, I may have to take a bit off that after doing all of that. I should have checked. Should have checked first, you see, and I didn't. No problem. Okay, so that will go there. So let's get that down. Um, I'm very clumsy today. <laughs> oh, this is the right way up. So let's get that one. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> this does slide about. You have to be very careful. You think you've got it in the right position, and before you know it, it slid. That's that one. I only want a, sm a smidgen of this glue. And that is going to be like that. Like so. Okay. Let's take these off. And that's our first one. Okay, and then I want to put that, see how does this fit. So we do need to, oops, take a bit off of that. Still needs a tiny bit of it. Okay, let's go ahead. 
head. These face marks are upside down. Okay. This glue is probably better if you use a spreader with it. I'm just going to cut those hanging over bits down. So I'm pleased I've managed to use these pieces up. This is how they were sent to me, these with the words on. Um, I like those. I think they're unusual. Right, okay. What do we do with this one now? Um, now, if we could... Um, Put a bit of lace on, I guess. I've got some. This is sort of coffee coloured lace. What you don't want is it to impede this going in and out of my pocket, really. So if I was going to put it on, it'd have to be um, on the bottom, uh, probably that way up. I think that would be quite nice. And with this Beacon 3-in-1, if you've got any shiny bits coming through, you can always go over them with your ink rubber. And they come off straight away. Or rub them with your finger is another good way. So, while they're damp. So that is there, and let's see, should we put some on this one, shall we put some, uh, maybe just down there would be nice I think, cut it about there. sure it's the right way round. Not sure. I think that's that's definitely it. There, we wait for that to dry. Okay, let's get some Labels or something out. Um, see, Keep them neutral, then those are nice um, tags. That would be quite nice on that one. Uh, oh, I think that's. Let's pull 
blue with me. Um, let's see. looking at some of the words right okay let's get those out pop that drawer back okay so i quite like this and this one Okay, so I'll put these on. I'm not going to put them on anything um, because, again, I don't want to make them too bulky. I don't smooth this these little things with my finger, this glue. I just uh, do it with the bigger pieces, in case anyone's wondering. All right, so that one I'd say is done so far. I haven't put a... I will do that, and then you'll see it in the thumbnail. Uh, let's cut this one down quickly. Okay. And that one can go up there, I think, on that side. Oh, actually, let's see. We can put that down there. Now, I've got a couple of things out. Let me just see what do I want to put on this. quite like that and then I quite like that up there oh do I want this up here it doesn't really show up very well and that down there like that doesn't show up this coupon one does oh that one does let's put those on I'm just spreading it, this with the nozzle rather than my finger. Just come out in a big loop. Give it a press down and then you get your ooze. <laughs> oh. I can't wait to wash my hands. So I'm not putting that much on, I'm just spreading it out with the nozzle, which is easier to do on small items. I 
you have to hold it down while you wipe it, otherwise it moves along. Okay, so I think those two are done for now until they get used. Let's see whether we want anything else on these at all. Um, as we've got a bit of colour on those, I could pick a different label. So let's see. This one here, that would be nice for that one, I think. And maybe that one there. And then that I'm going to call it a day. I've used up some cardboard trash, some scraps of paper pad and or scrapbook pad, whatever you want to call it, and what else? And some kind of word pieces out of my stash that were gifted to me. It might have they might have come in a swap actually. I just wanted to use some of them up to make room for new stuff, haven't you? I do hoard though, like most of us. Really not good. So let's put these glues away and the lid on the ink. Dobber head when I leave this video. Okay, so we've got these are all made out of trash bits and bobs. So, hope you like them. I'll do the eyelets off camera because my copper jar doesn't like being videoed. <laughs> Well, it's me really using it. <laughs> so, um, and I hope you enjoyed that. And hope it's given you a few ideas. Let me pull them down a bit. I don't know if you can see them. Let's put them like that. Okay, so that's four tags for my stash. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye bye.